Jimmy Butler. Butler. Welcome to California. Better yet, welcome to my house. Essa casa aqui do Jimmy Butler que nós vamos ver agora é a casa onde o Boca de 09 estava? Macetando ele no dominó? Deve ser, né? Na real. E calma. Pô, mas... Eu esperava uma doideira. E... I think fancy people call this a foyer. I don't call it that. I call it the beginning of a house, like the... I don't know, but it's not a foyer. É, que que tá borrado aqui, né? Ton of space to do absolutely nothing. This is actually probably the most pointless area in the house, but <laughs> I guess you just walk to the front door and then you're here. Oh, and there's a There are roses. Oi, chile dele, cara. The designer I worked with. Tiffany, Tiffany Brooks interior. I was just telling her, yo, get freaky with it. And she came in here and really fucked some shit up. I'm very impressed. I think I said, I just want like it to be really, really, really light. Like I want all this natural light. I want white walls, light floors, pretty couches and stuff. I didn't ask for this table though. She put that there. I probably take a <laughs> lot of credit for it. Now I think about it. Like when people ask, oh, what'd you do to the house? I was like, I put a table in this room, a piano over here. It was Tiffany that did it. This is like my live music room. When I say live music room, I mean, if any of my musical friends are coming over, this is where we set them up. If and when we have karaoke, AD, everybody's invited. I will outperform anybody. I may not sound the best, but I guarantee I put on a great show. Cara, ele, oh, pô, ele é muito carinho, mano. Não tem como. Right now, this second, uh, a bar song. Everybody, yeah, that one. And if we like all time, it's uh, Mario, Mario, however you want to say it, let me love you. Pô, ele é muito carisma, não tem como não, mano. Sério mesmo. Pô, mas eu tava esperando... Vamos ver se vai ter uma área de Jimmy Butler, né? A cozinha. That's my baby's chair right there. My Pô, bonita a cozinha. My significant other seat. That's a lie. I'm single, ladies. Holla at me. Y'all see my house. So a normal morning, afternoon, and or dinner, we don't really sit down. Well, the kids do. We all stand up and eat like black people do. It's like we have chairs. We just don't use them. And we just make Como a complete other fazem. master's food all on the floor from the kids. At one point in time, we all have to understand that we are kids bitches. If you're a parent, whatever the kids say, you just have to do. So we could have full blown steak and potatoes. And then Riley's like, Bonita cozinha. spaghetti. And then fucking Riley gets spaghetti because I'm a little bitch. Música animada. This place is called the conservatory. The reason that I like this space is because, like, with the floors, I feel like I'm in Italy, but I'm in California. Caralho, bonito meu. Hot. It is hot in this room. Between this hot ass window and these windows, it is hot in here. The chandelier that's up here, it's custom made for me. It's beautiful. It looks cool in this hot ass room. Tiffany did design it. She picked a. Uh, just there's too many shape light bulbs up there. And I just think it's Tiffany being Tiffany, just hella extra for no reason. But it's a good job, Tiff. Did great. Ele é muito doido. Now we are in the wine cellar. Aí a gente tá falando. Olha o tamanho da televisão. Area of the house. It's the vibe that I was going for, like darker, drink your wine, spill it on the floor. You can't really tell because I got all of this dark brick. Chris Howell. Pô, mas só, mas só vinho? Cadê Somalia? a cerveja? Cadê a cachaça? Somalia, sumo wrestler. He's the one that drinks um, all the wine, and he's the one that helps me to collect all of this expensive grape juice. This is my favorite wine. It is the absolute greatest. Sesakaya. Shout to y'all. In 2013, Mark Wahlberg was in Ué, town filming Transformers. Transformers. And when we get to his trailer, he's like, hey, do you drink wine? And I was like, no. And then the dude next to me was like, yes, you do. You don't tell Mark Wahlberg that you don't drink wine. And he popped a bottle of 2010 Sesakaya. And that's probably the most collected wine that I have. This is the hallway. I call this the big boy hallway because obviously all the big bottles. That leads to the main part of this wine cellar. I swear, if I hit one of these steps behind me, uh, where all the normal size bottles are, 
Caralho, lugar lá, bonitão. Né? E diferentão da parte de cima da casa, né? Yeah. See that? I've been here a ton of times that I know where each and every... I definitely didn't know that that last one was a step. Now we are here. We Pô, mas eu não consigo ver isso como um lugar que, que ele use pra caralho. Bem inútil, né? Só pra tu mostrar pra alguém é isso, né? Porra, não tem uma mesa pra eu jogar um carteado, não tem uma parada, não tem uma TV pra tu jogar um game, é uma parada assim. Isso aí é só casa pra mostrar na TV mesmo. Straight from Mars. The total seller holds about 20,000, and I think I got like 6,100 bottles in here. Caralho, 6 mil garrafas. A gente tá falando de milhão nessa salinha. You know what? This is my California section. You got the Screaming Eagle over here. And then we're going into Italy. This area is the Bordeaux. Bordeaux is here. This is probably Pior que, pô, é porque eu, por ser o Jimmy Butler, eu esperava que ele tivesse uma parada mais cara dele, né? Se bem que eu não conheço o Jimmy Butler direito. Né? Só é o que ele aparenta ser. Então, back that thing up. You a fine motherfucker. Won't you back that thing up? This is also Bordeaux. So keep backing that thing up. You find motherfucker back that thing. This is Burgundy, which um, me and Chris, we take a trip to Burgundy in the middle of July. So middle of July, we'll be in Burgundy trying to get much more. Let's talk about two very, very, very important bottles. Caralho, me, guarda so mesmo, né? E guarda por anos com a garrafa de vinho, né? I think I said that right. This bottle means a lot to me because Neymar's number 10. Oh. Yeah, I think they only did 10 of these bottles. So I begged and pleaded with them to give me the 10th bottle. Neymar's the GOAT, so everything we're doing here is all about number 10. And then this one is called Du Crew. And this one is special because Neymar. it's from 2019, which is my daughter's birth year. So they put Riley Butler on here. They did 33 of this collection. Guess what number mine is? Any takers? 10. Neymar again. It's all about Neymar, if you haven't noticed. Aí a gente tá falando. Aí a gente tá falando. We're at my domino table slash card table. This is where I be kicking ass. Oh, crazy. I started playing domino. Foi humilhado pelo book. Probably like four. And it's how my dad taught me how to count. And ever since then, I've just been the best at it. Um, I'm not afraid to admit that. You know, some people like to stay humble about it. Fuck that. I am the best in the world at dominoes. A lot of people over there. You know, pool, cabana over there, kitchen, Nossa, aí? volleyball. The craziest oh. part about the sand volleyball court is it used to be a tennis court. And then I was like, I don't even fucking like tennis. So I got a great idea. Let's just dump fucking 20 tons of sand on top of it. And then the following summer, you fall in love with tennis. That's how stupid I am. So now I got to figure out a place to put a tennis court. We work out on the <laughs> sand, just a different way to get ready for the season. Running, volleyball, obviously. Beach tennis is a new thing that we've been doing. And then foot volley. So whenever the Brazilians are over here at the house, oh? that's the game that they want to play. And I'm just, I'm, I'm not gonna say I'm not good. Cara, recebe brasileiro, pô, it's, ele it's é muito brasileiro. I'm gonna say I've won every time. I'm not gonna say I lost every time either, but it's difficult. I lost every time. I just like <laughs> Southern California because you got all the space that you need. It's quiet. I like that. I ele é muito foda, tá maluco. I want to do it. I want to do it and not bother anybody. What better place to do it in Southern California? Yeehaw! Café. Cara, eu vou falar pra vocês, mano. Talvez eu esteja no caminho pra ser esse cara do café moído, pesar, moer naquela paradinha de girar e pá. Talvez eu esteja nesse caminho. Aí, ó. É um caminho sem volta? This is my spot. This is the first Big Face Coffee Shop here in my own home. I will allow my neighbors to come in here, but for everybody here, coffee will cost you 60 bucks and I'm not fucking around. We don't take cash here, but I take cash under the table, so. Big Face Coffee is a venture that I really started in the bubble and it just started out with a, a love of coffee. And since then, I've been able to oh, build é a volta, team behind Big Face to help make Não vou entrar, tô evitando. Eu tô só na cápsula por enquanto. Basketball. 
this is what I want to be doing. For me personally, coffee is a lot like wine in the sense that you can never know everything about it. But more than anything, you get to sit down with people that you don't get to see every day. And I mean, that's always been my dream. Just chill, coffee, and, and talk to some really good people. This is a custom machine that we did with La Marzocco. We got the opportunity to go visit La Marzocco in Italy. Italy? And the first thing that I saw when I was in there was this machine. And I was just like, can I please, please, please have one? And they said yes. And now I have it in my own home. I don't think you'll see one of these anywhere else in the United States, by the way. So think about that. Ele gosta de café pra caralho, né? Ele tem até uma marca. We are in the dining room. In the hood growing up, where you eat at is called the living room. But now that I'm a little bit fancy, I have a dining room. <laughs> <laughs> this is where all my cool friends come over and we eat dinner and we drink and, wine, maneira, não, and we talk about nothing important. And I get to put my foot up on this chair because I paid for it. So I do what I want to do in my house. <laughs> Cara, ele é muito pica. Subiu no meu conceito, Jimmy Bunn. If my boys are here and I don't want to share my wine that I paid for in my chair, then I don't have to. So I'm in here a lot by myself too. Tiffany did an incredible job. These big paintings right here. I feel like they say something in this area. Tiffany picked these. Tiffany, great, great find, great pick. These are daffodils. Yeah, I'm a botanist. Right now, we are on this landing upstairs above the entry slash foyer. These chairs Meu are Deus, called chairs. Brian's a good friend of mine, so thank you for the chairs, Brian. They're out here because they were gonna go in my daughter's room, but then I figured when I wasn't ah, looking, she would draw all over them. So now I can watch her draw on them out here in this beautiful hallway, because I know that's gonna happen. Nossa, calma. O quarto, calma. Um ninho de amor. This is my bed. It's customed. Tiffany didn't do that one. I did that. I think it's like nine by something. It's pretty big. Very, very, very comfortable. And then I have a, it's not a strategically placed big face mug back there or anything, but it's a coffee cup back there. I wanted to be able to come here and just relax. I don't want too many é muito clean, é muito clean, né? Muito neutral. Muito, sei sei lá. Did it on the, the eu fancy esperava uma paradinha mais Every doida. Day I get in the bed, I have to throw all of those off and then put them back on. I mean, the night ritual is my daughter comes running in here from the other room and jumps on the bed because she doesn't want to go to sleep, you know, like kids do. Then I'm in here watching my show. I could be watching anything. Batman, Superman, um, Money Talks. Ooh, Bad Boys. Love that movie. Fucking Bluey. I don't want to fucking watch Bluey at 11 o'clock. You shouldn't even be up at 11. As often as I should be in my own bed because of my kids, I do not. But I love y'all. I really do. This view is really special to me. Once again, I love Europe. I love Italy. And so whenever I look out over the balcony, it's a way to say we kind of brought Italy to us here because growing up, I didn't even know where Italy was. I was never supposed to make it to go see Italy. So now I can wake up and go to Italy. I didn't have any idea that it was a little far away. My bathroom. I mean, it's a bathroom. It got two toilets. Oh, essas pedras do banheiro, a galera gosta muito, né? Que esses Tiffany entre aspas, essas marcas Tiffany marrons, essas, essas manchas. I'm gonna take the credit for caro this pra I did ask for Florida ceiling marble, actually, and I knew that this was marble. I definitely did. It was my idea to start on the floor and take it to the ceiling with the marble. I mean, I feel like you're dirty as hell if you don't spend a lot. Like you have to take showers. So, and I work out consistently. So, I would say I'm in here about. If, I, if the kids are taking a bath and you can't leave your kids uncivilized because they just drink the pee water, which I don't even understand why kids do that. So they're in the fucking tub for 45 minutes. That adds on to the time that I'm here. Probably like two showers a day, maybe three, at like 15 minutes, 15 times three, 57. Yeah, 57 minutes. I know, with the good. He died. Hey, calma. Ah, não vai mostrar. Thanks for coming through. Que bandido! Que isso? Não vai mostrar a sala de cinema ali? Aí é foda.